Hi everybody, welcome back. In the last video we talked about why you need Google My Business. So today we're going to actually go through how to set up a Google My Business account. So I'm just on my Google home screen, right? So I'm going to type in the words Google My Business. And so we get a lot of things. There's an ad. See this first one? It says ad. I kind of skip over that one. Um, you want to go to google.com business. Google My Business, right? So I want to, um, I, I am a manager of several businesses. So if I click sign in, it's going to tell me all the people that I manage. Um, but I want to open a new location. So I'm going to add a single location. When you type in Google My Business, if you've never done it before, and you go to Google My Business, you click sign in or manage, this is what will happen. This is the page you will get. First of all, I want to say a couple of things to you. Make sure that you are logged in to the Gmail, your email that you use. See right up here, it says um, it has my picture. Now if I click on that, you can see my account, my kids' accounts. You know, we all share it. I have a personal account. I have a, you know, the one I use for work. Make sure you are logged in to the email account you want associated with your Google My Business. So if you need to go up here and switch accounts, do that. Um, that way you will know where to go, what to do, um, because this will be forever tied to your email. Okay. So let's say I'm a real estate agent and I want to start a Google My Business account. So I'm going to use my name first because people know you by your name, right? So I'm going to type in Tiffany Massengill and then I'm going to start typing in look at me all fat finger in it Coldwell <laughs> Banker Access okay so that's the business name I want to use so you click on it is this the name of your business and you're like yes that is my business name okay what is my business category well we're in real estate right so as you start typing in you can only choose from the drop down menu right so you could do a real estate fair no that's not what we are agency we're real estate agents and the reason why i'm going to say to use agents plural is because agents singular is not there first of all second of all you know we all talk to ourselves and have a little bit of split personality so go with real estate agents plural will this location show up on google maps yes so you want your office to show up on google maps So you type in the street address. I'm going to use the street address for our making office, which is 1501 Bass Road. And it puts it, you know, it fills it in for me. But this is the location of that office. Please, please, please do not put in your personal home address. There are creepers out there. You don't want people finding your personal home address. Put in your office location. You can meet people at the office. They can send mail to the office, whatever. Use the office location. Oh, I can't leave the state empty, can I? No, we're in Georgia. Okay. Okay. Do I serve people outside my location? Yes, you do. You go to homes all over the place, right? So, yes, you don't just meet at that office. You service people outside your office. Now, this is super um, important. These, it gives me suggested um you know areas and I can click on all of those but um, right what you're doing right now is Google geolocates people so let's say you're on your phone and you're typing in restaurants near me it's gonna give you the restaurants truly near you even if you don't type in near me if your location services are turned on in any way it's gonna geolocate you and know where you know know where you are and give you things relevant to your location so when you can select areas here, you want to put as broad a net as you can. You want to add the largest, you know, a, a large city near you. Like Macon, I, I recommend that people use Macon and Warner Robins. We have an office in both locations. Put both of those in there. And then all the little cities, like we live, um, Lazella is near us. 
and um, it always comes up. So, um, so for size, so you've got to click it on the drop down list. Now, if you forget something, don't worry. I'm going to show you in the next video when we tweak out your Google My Business account once you've once you've created the account, then we're going to go back and do another video where I show you all the different things to do to optimize it. So in that session, I can show you where you can add or take away these. But think about as many as you can. And don't worry, you can always go back in and add more. OK, so those are the places I serve. OK, my phone number. So this is where I'm going to type in my phone number. Um, don't put in the office number. Type in your cell phone number. And then your website. OK, so you know that when you go into the back office, you have a website, right? So you're in the back office. Click on your profile. See where it says website right there? Click that website. Now I'm going to this top search bar. Um, my screen recording doesn't show you the tippy top where my search bar is, but I'm clicking that right there where it says T. Massingale, mycbhomes.com. I'm clicking that. I'm highlighting it and I'm copying. Remember, we love copy and paste, right? So I've copied it, and now I'm going to paste it right here. Um, control C copies. Control V is how you view what you've copied, and you paste it. Okay. So you want to put your website there. You want your your personal cell phone number so you get the leads directly to you, and you want um, your website so people get directed to your website, right? Okay. So let's finish now. I will say um, that because my phone number, oh, even though I didn't put in my correct phone number, um, if, if your phone number has been tied with your Google account, a lot of times they'll send you a text message. They don't want people spamming these and making a lot of these um, for a lot of reasons. You don't want junk information to come up on a Google search result. So I can have a postcard mailed to the office. If your phone number is tied to your email account, it will verify via text message. So it'll give you like a five digit code that you, you type in right here. Um, so one, a couple recommendations that I have for you. Sometimes these accounts are not easy to get verified. You need to make sure you use an email account that has all um, that you are registered with the real estate commission with that email or you know your local board of realtors that's the email account you use for registering in um, all your business um, accounts because google does verify emails um it, it's not like they're gonna whatever but they do a, a search and see if that um, email is listed in professional places so um, it is a good step in getting verified to make sure that you're using an email, not a fresh brand spanking new email, but an email that's already been registered on places like Zillow and Trulia, that's registered with the Real Estate Commission, that, you know, all those types of things. Um, and you want to make sure that your phone number is linked to that Gmail account as a recovery number. That way you can go ahead and get the text. But if you didn't get a text, they will just send you a card to your place of business, um, which is the office, it's going to look like junk mail. You want to let the person up front, the receptionist know, it's going to look like you're getting junk mail. Um, it's very important that you get it as soon as it comes in because the code does not last long. It um, has a very, very short shelf life and then the code is no longer valid. Okay, so that's how you set up um, your Google My Business account. It's um, it's not too hard. If you make any mistakes while you're doing it, once you get it set up, I'll show you where to go and how to get in there and change things up so they reflect what you want. So tune into the next video and we'll go through opening up your, once you've created the account, once you get into it, how to make it optimized. So you come up higher on Google search results. So you're giving people the information they need, all that kind of stuff. So I'll see you on the next video.